More and more of you guys and girls out there are buying ultrasonic cleaners. These things aren't just for like professional shops nowadays. I think a lot of you guys are buying these things because the price has gone down so much over the last few years and you can clean all kinds of different things in this cleaner. I started making a list. Hard to clean things. Jewelry, sunglasses, eyeglasses, hairbrushes, combs, dentures. You know, as far as I go, auto parts, small engine parts is what I usually go in there. Carburetors is a big one. Um, silver, gold, coins, stuff like that. Tools, uh, sockets, wrenches, ratchets. Oh, for you, probably for just you Americans out there, I'm not 100% sure. Gun parts. You guys reload your own ammunition? You know, you got that big pile of brass before you reload your ammo? You throw all that brass in there, that brass comes out shiny and clean and gleaming again. Well, it makes your bullets look a lot prettier, I know that. Uh, this list, guys, it just goes on and on and on. The problem with one of these things is, this thing's a 15 liter ultrasonic cleaner. So I fill it up with water, I put whatever cleaning solution I want in there, and then I clean one lawnmower carburetor. The solution in there is now instantly dirty. I clean two or three of those in there, now it's disgusting, it's greasy in there. I don't wanna put a hairbrush in there now. I don't wanna put my wife's diamond ring in there now, it's disgusting. You spend more time cleaning the reservoir out and changing your solution than you do using it almost. Well today, I got an awesome tip for you guys on how to get around that little issue right there. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Steve Small Landing Saloon again. I'm Steve. Thank you so much for tuning in again. You guys are awesome. Hey, you know what else is awesome? Ultrasonic cleaners. You guys just saw in that intro that I just did right there on what the problem is with these things. So I got a great tip to solve that problem for you guys. I have to say this, you guys, otherwise I'm gonna get comments on this video saying, well, how does this thing work? Right in a nutshell here before we go on to the tip, ultrasonic cleaners. It's a, it's a tub of water or a solution in here that when you turn it on, there's ultrasonic sound waves that go through that, that sound like this. That's what that is right there. I know that's super annoying when you hear that noise, but that's what that is. You put a part in there, in that tub of solution, you turn that on and it's ultrasonic sound waves that go through the solution and they form little tiny microscopic bubbles on the surface of whatever you're cleaning in there. Those microscopic bubbles explode at a high temperature and as they're exploding, they're blowing little pieces of grease and debris and oil off of that part. That's in a nutshell how that works. As you can see right here, I have three different containers. I use peanut butter containers. Yeah, apparently my kids eat a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Most of this is my responsibility right here. I love peanut butter too. I use peanut butter containers because they're plastic. You can also use pickle jars, big pickle jar, small pickle jar. The problem with these things is they're glass. I don't like to have glass around my shop. If I drop one of those things on the floor, on my concrete floor, glass is shattered all over the place, now I gotta clean it up. I drop one of these things on the floor, who cares? You pick it up and carry on. I just prefer the plastic containers. That ultrasonic sound wave that goes through your solution will go through plastic, it'll go through glass. So here's what I do. Let's take this one for instance right here, Dawn dish soap. Dawn dish soap, you guys, it, it works great. It really does. All those advertisements out there are not BS. It is a grease cutter and it is a mild cleaner. I clean things in this that are 
what I would say, what, what would you put in your kitchen sink and clean it? Something that you need to be a mild cleaner, like dentures, jewelry, uh, hair brushes, hair combs, things like that. That's what you want to use Dawn dish soap for. It works fantastic. I also have one here that is a, a it's a concentrated degreaser cleaner, but it's corrosive. You see this little emblem right here? That's your corrosive emblem right there. It works great, you guys, but if you put a carburetor in that, uh, say, uh, just take that little cube carburetor right there off of a weed eater. It's all nice shiny metal on there. If you put that in there, it's going to clean it all right. Take 15, 20 minutes to clean it. But it turns the metal a little bit, I'm not even going to say black, it kind of turns it a gray color. I don't really like that. I don't think it's actually hurting that carburetor, but... There's a better solution to this than that. Gasoline, right here. Straight up gasoline. Petrol for all my friends that live on the other side of this planet. Gasoline is my go-to cleaner in an ultrasonic cleaner. But you know what? I don't fill that whole tub up with gasoline. Here's what I do. I take that right there and I put a part in there. I screw the lid on. And I put it right in there, let her float around. And like I said before, those ultrasonic sound waves go right through that. And not only is it cleaning the jar, but it's cleaning what's inside of it. You turn it on. Wow, I can actually see that working in there right now. I fill my ultrasonic cleaner up to the top, right to the fill line with nothing but water. And then I just use different jars. Now I know, okay, Dawn dish soap, uh, concentrated degreaser right here, gasoline. I know that some of you guys have other ideas out there. Man, put some comments down right underneath this channel. Tell me what you guys use and uh, tell me how it works and, and for different things. I wouldn't use my uh, dentures and my hairbrushes and stuff in gasoline. That's why I wanna have different containers like this. So I just told you that gasoline is actually my go-to cleaner for this. I'm gonna show you why right now. I just poured some Dawn dish soap right here, right out of that container, and I got a little socket. I got some several sockets here. This one's really dirty. Let's try this, I'm gonna show you the difference. Watch this. We're gonna put that socket in there. See that Dawn dish soap, it's nice and clean. Let's try this. Let's try this for 10 seconds. I know this is going to annoy you guys a little bit because of the sound buzzing. Let's just try this. I'm just going to put that in there, hold it in there. It's bubbling in there. You can see it bubbling. Uh, was that around 10 seconds, something like that? All right, let's have a look. That Dawn dish soap is a little bit dirty. If you left that thing in there for, oh, you know, 15 minutes or something like that, that socket would probably come out absolutely clean. But guess what? I don't have 15 minutes to do that. I don't want to wait. I'm a very impatient person. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. Let's take that socket now. Straight gasoline right here. Let's put that in there now, just like that. And try it again, 10 seconds. <laughs> it's amazing, it's amazing to watch this. I'm gonna do a close up for you guys in a second so you guys can actually watch this happen, like what I'm seeing. But watch this, what, was that 10 seconds? Check this out, look at that. Look at that, that cleaned right through that plastic, right into that socket right there. And look how dirty that gasoline is right there. Obviously that cleaned it very well. Wow, it's so dirty, I can't even really see it to grab it. There it is. I'm not saying that's pot, well that is actually, <laughs> that is actually really clean. I was gonna say that's not spotlessly clean in 10 seconds, but holy cow. That's really clean. There's the mud in the bottom of there. Gasoline works absolutely awesome, you guys, for doing this. 
All right, let's switch to a close-up right now of what I just did and what I saw. I didn't want to break away from that video right there and edit it so you guys know it was no BS. Let's do it again, and I'm going to switch to a close-up. Let's go. So, so there you go again. That absolutely works. Now I don't have a lid on this. I have to hold that in there. Of course, you're not going to want to hold that in there like that. Maybe you need to go a, a few minutes to get something really clean or something that's extremely dirty, right? You let that go, it's going to tip over and dump all that into your reservoir of nice clean water. That's what we don't want to happen. And that's obviously why we got these containers right here with the screw on lids. You literally just throw it in there and let her flop around and let it clean and it works absolutely amazing. Okay, before we sign off then guys, I just gotta say one more thing. A lot of you guys are gonna also put down comments that say, well, just fill the reservoir up only a little bit. Don't fill it all the way to the top, a little bit like that. And then you can clean stuff in the bottom of that. Guys, I tried it every single owner's manual I've ever seen for an ultrasonic cleaner says do not do that. Always fill it to the fill line, which is, you got that little basket in there, right? The fill line is just above the basket so the basket's covered. You fill it up that much right there. I've tried it, I've done it, and I blew an ultrasonic cleaner out. I don't know what the science was behind that, but they say don't do that, I did it, and I paid for it, my ultrasonic, my old ultrasonic cleaner is now garbage and I had to get another one. So that's why I do this now. It works absolutely fantastic. I hope you guys like that tip. I hope maybe I saved you guys some money, whatever. You guys, put some comments down like I said. I really hope you like this video. Give me that thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Before we sign off here, if you guys want to see this exact ultrasonic cleaner that I use, I have a link on my description of this video. Click that link, it'll take you right back to this exact one so you can see all the specs and whatever else you want to see on that one. You'll see these things are not very expensive. They're worth having. Unbelievable. Till the next video, guys. Steve out.